Oh, water lilies over there. And, 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 and I was very interested in color. This is a much later painting. And, and you can see I just took opaque paint and put it right on the top planes of the rocks, catching the sky that you don't see. But you do see it, the sky, because the sky is now touching the rocks. And then I carry that color here, a dark against the light, because this is, I wanted you to look somewhere first. And so what you look is a dark against the light, so there, there was no reason to put the white there, but I needed it for composition. And so that balances Pine Pit. And here again is the sky over everything. And a, uh, oh, and I'm gonna just show this because too bad I have two paintings on one side. Maybe I should have made this the painting. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Oh, maybe I'll change it. Well, this says, says 101. Maybe it is two paintings. Hmm, this is Eastern Point. This is Eastern Point. Oh, golly, this is a good one. Look at this one here. I put the lighthouse right in the center, and now it's so little. And how am I going to give the, right, the, the lighthouse strength? I'm going to use an implied line underneath it. And can you see, I put two marks saying that's the grass. See, that's helping the lighthouse. I put the shadow of the rock right underneath the lighthouse giving strength, the implied line, all of these, see the dark here, and it's moving up, and moving here, going up, going up into the lighthouse. Let's see, did I carry it any further? Oh yeah, I got a break in the sky there. And all of that is the implied line, and that makes the lighthouse very, very strong. And then from the lighthouse, where did I want you to look? I wanted you to look at the lightkeeper's house, and here I got this on the back of the other painting. Somebody's gonna be awfully lucky, and then they can make the choice. And look at how I broke the sky up just with a great big cumulus cloud and, and here so that the blue piece, look at the blue piece, takes a shape within itself. Wow, that's a neat painting. Two paintings for one. I think I prefer the lighthouse to Pine Pit, but I had chosen Pine Pit. Well, now I don't even know how to put it. And here is Eastern, uh, this is Wingersheet Beach on a very windy day. And you can see by the colors, it, you know, it was not a nice day to walk the beach, but I love days like this. And you can see that I even blew the trees with the wind. Can you see? They're going that way. Everything's going that way. And then we wander into the beach here, right from the center. I'm starting to use center. I'm breaking the painting up, and I'm moving right from the center this way, and then over to that tree. You see, everything is a composition, isn't it? And look at this tells us that it's not a nice day. See, we've got all the gray and the clouds and everything. But look at the nice day that's back in here. The color is clean. And you know, when you get to the horizon, it has to be warm. So that blue has a lot of yellow in it. Uh, see, it's coming down to the horizon. And then we get the clouds going again. And they also have to have red in them. Anything that's coming to the earth, the earth bounces up that wonderful warm colors. And this was in many, many shows and many demonstrations. I demonstrated this boat over and over. I have it, I have it at home in my house in a great big double elephant, but I have it smashing against rocks. And this is when they were sinking the boats in Gloucester. And, 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 and look at the wash in here. Look at that colored wash of the boat. It's about to sink. They took those boats out and sunk them. And, and this is behind the parking lot of, e, of uh, the Stop and Chop. And, and you stand by the fence, and then you look through the fence, and that's what you see. And the trees behind Marnie Williams' house, the great big birch. And King Street, Rockport, from an impression of the street, playing with greens. Green is a wonderful color to play with. Look at the colors of the greens here. Look at the color there. Look at the color here to the color over there. Play with your greens. Don't let them stay the same. And this is, um, again, in the winter at the parking lot of, of, old, of a Good Harbor Beach, where we're not allowed to go anymore. And, and I, I did this out there. I have two paintings like this. I have the other one at home. Uh, and, and, uh, and some... And look at the, the way the color changes in the shadow to give it interest. 
and the sky comes down in the center and is helping the house and the, and the, and the shadow going into light is right under the house too. Everything helping the house and the atmosphere and the trees. And now we had a terrible storm in 78 and this is uh, Bass Rocks and look at the damage it did. Look at what happened to the trees. And the corner of Norwood Avenue, one of the nicest places to paint. And the house is here and we're looking back there. And we're coming forward again. And look at all the changes in the greens. And uh, this is uh, when we were painting up at the Manships. And this is just that little garden house in the fall. And Rocky Neck. And I folded this paper, see, because I wanted the long painting. See, it's folded. See, because I wanted Rocky Neck to feel the, the the longness of the harbor, and that's exactly as it is. And everything is long. The clouds are long, the houses are long, the, the wall, the water, everything is these long horizontal lines. And my abstract at Millbrook Park, I didn't mean it to be an abstract, that's the way I was seeing that day. And again, up at Summit Avenue, and just the impression of the birches, and, and up at Ledgemont Avenue. I don't like this one too much. And this one was in many, many shows. The abstract out here, right in the parking lot of the North Shore Art Association. I was teaching in those days the handling of figure and ground, the white paper. See, the white paper is going all through the painting, all through, not just in one spot. Everything has to be touched with it. The blue, the blue work, see the blue, is all balanced, the, the yellow is all balanced. Every color put on has a, see the green here, look at how I balanced it over there. Everything is balanced. And, and, and Lane's Cove and the big rock. And I love to climb. And all we have, here's, I didn't want to tell about Lane's Cove. I wanted to tell about the rock and the ragweed. And I gave the ragweed a wonderful place. And I gave all of Lane's Cove. Here's the square again. And Lane's Cove is there. And the rock took the dominant area. And the surf at Bass Rocks is hung at the Rockport Art Association for many, many months in the hallway. They chose that to represent us. And this is the house right across back from Back Beach. I think I took that house down and now built a big house. But that's right, uh, you know, the beach is right in front of it. And this is Lane's Cove. And, and this back streets of Gloucester. I did this painting a couple of times with demonstrations showing different lights of the day. Again, oh, a good one of Eastern Point. Oh, look how these washes went on with the gra grasses. And again, the lighthouse way in the corner. I didn't want to tell about the light again. I wanted to tell about the breakwater. I love that breakwater. And to balance the breakwater, the figures came right in the golden section. Eastern Point again. I didn't even put the lighthouse in. Oh my, how would anybody know it's Eastern Point? Because there's a breakwater. And how did I balance the breakwater? I flew some birds in the sky. And what's that there? Oh, some birds, I guess. And Alice had light, again, a demonstration, not a finished painting, but a good, good composition. And this is at Hubby House, right behind, right behind Hubby House, looking at Gloucester, where artists of the past all stood here on this ground, painting the great scenes like Fitzhugh Lane and all those wonderful painters that's where they were, seeing Gloucester Harbor. And this is the same place, same place as this, turned around, and I painted the parking lot at Hubby House. And Wingersheek Beach, and everything is in gray, no light, 
just a ray of light came on the sand dunes there. And Montgomery's boatyard on the hottest, hottest day you can imagine. And I've got all of these, uh, ev and it's so dry. And all the colors are showing. It was so strong a day. And on top of Ledgemont, well, and I have two of these paintings. They're almost alike of the old telegraph pole. And everybody paints that telegraph pole. It won't be there much longer. The, sure, the people don't like it. But oh, isn't it wonderful? And we the portrait of a telegraph pole. And then what do we do? We walk down the street and down the hill. Again, this is the Headlands painting, the white paper. See the, the figure and ground, the balancing of white paper. And, and an impression of the woods up at Summit Avenue, just an impression. And, and this is over at Rocky Neck. And, uh, and it's that little path that goes down to the water with the big rock. But instead of painting that, I stood right at the path because I like the tree to this tree and the broken, the broken piece of granite. I, I thought it made a wonderful subject matter right in that area. It doesn't matter what you paint, it's what you like. And I uh, and, uh, did this a long time ago, just a boy and his dog. Another Eastern Point, seems, um, seems all these Eastern Points I put in this, sh this show, I have so many home. I didn't realize I was taking almost the same composition again. And Bass Rock. Oh, look at that one on the back side of it. That's kind of nice. Too bad I didn't finish it. That's a granite pier. And now, now this is Bass Rocks on a hot, hot day. And, uh, and I had this in a couple of shows. I also had it hanging in my living room. It's an awfully good one. And so is this a good one. And oh, I wish I could get washes like this. Let me get it that it's perfectly seen here. Look at this is Lane's Cove. I could never paint washes like this. It just happened. It's so clean. And that was the day. I must have been uh, extremely quiet and extremely happy that day because we paint our emotions. We only pick up the brush and paint what we see. No. We paint how we feel each day. It's always different. This is Cathedral Rocks did that a long time ago behind the Ralph Waldo Emerson. And a, a field in Vermont. And Rockport Quarries again. Must have done this one very fast. It looks, the washes went on so quickly. Maybe it was a very hot day and I had to get out of there. And, and this is where my dog Michael and I go walking. It's behind Kelly's Pond, and that takes you right out into the woods. Look at the nice color changes in the rock. And Bass Rocks, just that quiet day. Just standing there looking at the ocean and over at the Essex Boatyard. And Peggy Williams' backyard. And you know, I had a little dog, her name was Patty. And she was little and was always with me. And there she is, hmm. as my little dog, Patty. It's the only dog I had. That's why I came to Rockport. Patty just had the habit of biting people. And so I had to leave New Jersey and move to Rockport. And I would maybe be here if it wasn't for Patty. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and now this is right behind the North Shore Art Association on a very quiet day. And, and now with Patty, I had a wonderful golden retriever, and that's Missy. And I, I got this rejected in a show because they said the dog was walking out of the picture. Because the dog was walking out of the picture, the dog was dying. I knew I was going to lose Missy. She was 15 and a half. I knew I was going to lose her. And yet, I brought it back because I balanced the Missy with this tree, this tree right here. And that, that's bearskin neck. See, that, can you see that tree is, is in the center?